Hey there, I am Nev, I'm a dev, and today I want to show you my browser setup because I am not using Chrome like most of people do. I am using something different and I want to, yeah, show it to you. You can see it here. I am using Arc. And Arc is a browser, it's been out for like one or two years now, and it's very king amazing. I love Arc. And I think Arc just does everything right, and today I want to show you. Um, how I set up my arc. So first thing you'll notice is that our tabs are not on the top bar but on the sidebar. And why is that? Because I think it's more convenient than just reaching to there all the time. And I have all my stuff here anyways. So like that one, this and my dock, like everything is over there. So it makes perfect sense to just do it like that. My Notion setup is also on this side. At the beginning, yes, I had to get used to it, but now I think it's very cool and I think it's the proper way to do that. So as you can see, we got some few different spaces. You can actually see this. Well, let me actually go right here. Um, that probably is better for you to see what's going on. So we got these three spaces right here. We got uh, home, we got work, and we got dev. So, how are tabs organized? So, I could go to Wikipedia and to get up. And these are the temporary tabs, so to say. And these tabs, they close after a while. I can set this right here in profiles. After two, 12 hours, if I'm not using this tab, it will close instantly. Or not instantly, but it will, it will archive. Yeah, they call it archive. So, these are the temporary tabs. These ones are my bookmarks, like Quizlet, Deeple, um, some Swiss stuff, and some online shops. And yeah, so these are like, this is like the favorite top bar that you have in Chrome. Do I have Chrome on this machine? No. And on the top of here, we have the favorites. If you don't have two profiles as I have, these favorites will stay the same on every space. Um, but here, these have different profiles, that's why they have different favorites. So, this whole thing right here, this setup, or yeah, this thing is a space. Um, in your space, there's a place for all your tabs and yeah, and your favorite bookmarks and stuff. And now let's go to the second space and you can see that if I switch between these and this space, they actually have the same favorites because I thought like, yeah, they're both work, so they need to have the same space, which makes sense, right? Up here, I have GitHub, Netlify, YouTube Studio, and ChatGPT. Oh no, I'm exposing myself, I'm using ChatGPT. Well, yeah, who doesn't? Um, and in here, I just have, I have many websites here. That's why I have um, three folders, resources for getting my fonts or my icons, my admin panels for Terso, email, JS, Stripe, and other stuff. And here I have all my docs. One thing that is really cool, I can, for example, open Drizzle ORM and Lucia. And if I now collapse this, it will close. And if I go to Drizzle, it will also open. So no matter if I like collapse the folder, the open tabs will still be visible. And if I now close that with my mouse wheel, it will close. One thing Arc really pushes the user to do is using their shortcuts. So how do we do that? We basically have control one for the first space, control two for the second and control three for the third space. Uh, we have command one for the first tab, command two for the second and command nine for the last one. Um, pretty straightforward. We have command T of course for opening a new tab. We have command L to show up the URL bar which is basically, which I really like, is also in full screen, we don't have this URL bar, which I really enjoy. Why? I don't know. I think it's probably wrong to say I'm more focused with that, but it just looks cleaner. So you see I have some extensions up here, and these are just Chrome extensions. We have what runs, and we have pesticide, which is really useful. So developer mode is also a very cool thing. On localhost or specific websites, it detects that it is for developers, and then I can just do developer mode, um, pesticide basically gives me all these borders. That is basically my extension setup, but I think most of the settings or most of the things from my setup actually live in the setup tab. So another keyboard shortcut, command, comma, 
actually brings up the settings like in most Mac apps. Um, yeah, so in here we got that one, Neville, this is my name, this is my kind of uh, card. I can randomize that soggy palette and I have this one year anniversary uh, batch because I am using Arc since forever, since it basically came out. I saw a YouTube video by, I think, a better computer or Snazzy Labs, I'm not sure. And he was like showcasing this browser and I was like, okay, I need to try this. I instantly signed up for the beta and when I got the mail that I'm approved for beta, I was like, I cheered. And yeah, very nice. Okay, I need to blur that out. Um, yes, sync sidebar basically makes that if I have this sidebar, it will also sync with my other, um, with my other computers, like for example, on my Mac, on my Mac mini, because I'm recording from my MacBook right now. Uh, they used to do it with iCloud sync, but now they have their own account system and their own sync system. So in general, <laughs> nothing really that important. One before quitting, never used that. Preview settings. Uh, oh yeah, that is really cool. Um, for example, if I have Google Calendar or if I would use Google Calendar and I hover over the, um, the tab, it will show today's events or something like that. For Arc, of course, that one. But uh, I never tweaked like any of this. And Gmail for unread mails, stuff. So profiles, I got two. Work and home. Default search engine is Google. Got a tri perplexity, sounds very nice. This is AI browser thing. Download location, I would always ask. And then this new document. By default, it's set to Arc Note, but I set it to a Google Doc. And then the next tab is, I think, a very interesting tab. It's the Arc Max tab. So Arc Max are basically Arc's AI features. So yeah, they got quite some AI features right here. So let's just show them. ChatGPT in command bar. Don't use it. I think it's unnecessary. I would just rather go into uh, the tab of ChatGPT. And I think I also need an API key for that. I know don't have that because I'm not a OpenAI premium user. Tidy Downloads is a very handy feature if you have like weird download names um, and automatically renames them. Tidy Tab Titles is also very cool. Um, like for example, if I go to Namecheap and they have this very weird name right here and I just put it in here, it will just rename it. And that is very practical. Next one is five second previews. Instant summaries uh, appear when you hover over links. It's enabled on Google. So I don't know how to boil water. I can, it automatically shows this. I hover over it and AI reads basically the whole page and then makes a summary. Ask on page is, let's go to Drizzle, Drizzle ORM. And now if I press Command F and I ask what is Drizzle ORM, it will also read the page and say what it is. Yeah, a TypeScript ORM, that's right. Now, should I use it? I ain't reading all of that instant links. So if I am here and I'm again searching how to boil water, you see this instant open thing right here. And if I press shift enter, it will search the web for me. And then, uh, yeah, basically show me the first best page or how to set up drizzle or um, relations. We'll do that. Very cool. No, tidy tabs, I don't use that. And yeah, basically automatically enable future Arc Max features. I always like to do that because maybe there's something cool next. So shortcuts, um, I have customized a few, like, like as you can see, there are many shortcuts. And capture import mode is one of them, developer tools and JavaScript console. Um, really handy to just open that, option D opens it immediately. Let me close this dev server right here. So next one is links. And this is, I think Arc handles links in the best way any browser does. Um, open little Arc when I press, yeah, that one I don't really use. Open little Arc when clicking on links, no. Uh, links from other apps, open in little Arc. Yeah, I definitely want that and archive little Arc tabs after one hour because I don't use them. So. What is little arc? So for example, if I um, just make a little comment, youtube.com slash at Neville Bram, and I open that one, it will open this 
little window right here. This is little arc. You should definitely subscribe. And yeah, this is little arc. Basically what that is, is a little preview window of the link. And as you can see, it's not full size, um, which is good because I want it to be that, one, that small. So it does not like instantly take me to this whole large window and distract. Open the peak window when clicking on links with shift held. And that's what I showed you before. Works on Google. Let's say I'm here. I hover over that one. No, we're like with shift pressed and I hover over this hyperlink. It will tell me what drizzle select is and I can even drag this over. I didn't know that. Another very important thing is air traffic control. I can set this to youtube.com and it should automatically open in home. Let's try that out. Uh, we have this VS Code thing and it automatically opens in home and not in the little arc thing, but I don't need that. And yeah, local drizzle studio. I just want that to open in little arc and local host to open in dev. Icon, original arc, candy arc. I like this candy arc icon, it's very cute. Um, you need to refer to friends to unlock more arc icons, but right now I'm good with that one. And advanced play arc sound effects. They have some very little subtle sound effects, which I really appreciate. Makes the browser feel more alive. And some other things right here. Yeah, I never really touched these advanced things, really. So, yeah, this is basically my whole browser setup. Would I recommend this browser? Absolutely. To who? I think everyone. Like, also to a private person, I would recommend this browser too. Like, maybe not to someone who only watches YouTube and, like, answers mail, but to a person who does work, which I think probably most of you do, um, I would totally recommend that. It's also coming to Windows soon. Yeah, it's based on Chromium, so it works like Chrome. Yeah, go ahead, check it out. Arc.net is the link. Not sponsored, by the way. And yeah, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see us in the next one.